a show. And, you know, now I enjoy a big, tall f***ing plastic cup of, you know, Miller Lite or whatever it might be. There's a lot of the meatheads at shows sometimes, you know. The girlfriend is in the front row and she gets bumped by a dude's arm. And he thinks he punched her and you're like, really? I mean, she's in the front row at a rock and roll. And it's like, dude, you touched my girlfriend's And, like, if a guy punches you for that, you go get all your friends, drag him outside and beat him till he never wants to go to a show anymore. Because wow. people like that should never be at shows. Wow. That's hardcore. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a guy who's going to condone violence generally. No, don't speaking. condone it. Uh, okay, if this guy's here <laughs> and he punches you because you're having a good time at a show when you accidentally touch his girlfriend or, you know, bump into him. Okay, don't hurt him. <laughs> you know, give him a good, like a, a good talking to. Yeah. yeah. Or a good, or a good, maybe you could be friends and have ice cream. Like a round of applause? You know, like a good pop, like one hard slap, maybe. Be like, hey, man, this vile, this aggression will not stand. Use your words, not your fists, is I think what he's trying to say. Is that about... Beat him with your words, words. I got a segment I think you guys are going to like. This is a little segment I like to call, Who Would Win in a Street Brawl? Featuring the All-American Rejects. We know her from that Top Model show. And Paula Abdul from that karaoke contest show. Who would win in a fight? Uh, I think Tyra's a bitch. I think she's a scratch. Yeah. She'd, play, she'd be dirty. Yeah, I'd give it to Ty. Tyra's a bit younger, too. Uh -huh. She might be a bit more agile. Yeah. That would either be first round knockout or uh, you'd go to Paula in like a third round decision. Okay, okay, good answer. We'll go, what about this? You guys are you're on tour right now with Fall Out Boy and Hawthorne Heights. Who would win in a battle between those two? Well, there's five in Hawthorne Heights. Yeah. They are outnumbered. The guys in Hawthorne Heights are big, too. Yeah. There's some, there's some bigger lads in yeah. Hawthorne Heights. Final decision. Fall Out Boy does spin a lot. But that could get them dizzy. That could get them dizzy in the middle of the fight, though. They might pull up the roundhouse. If, if, if Fall Out Boy could land roundhouse kicks, I'd give it to Fall Out Boy. What about this? You guys are from Stillwater. The fictitious band from the movie Almost Famous, Stillwater, versus the fictitious band from the movie Spinal Tap, Spinal Tap. Spinal Tap, yeah. Spinal Tap takes it easy. Jason Lee and that one guy, you know, your looks have become a problem, that guy. You tell me, those, those, those guys know how to fight. Those are scrawny dudes. You know, one guy, let's just go get some... He, he wouldn't fight. He'd just be like, let's just go get some barb. <laughs> Listen, you guys, I think the, the game is done here, and you've done a fantastic job, and I believe in every one of your decisions. Thank you so much for, uh, for taking the time. Have a great time with the rest Thank of the trip you. here. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh,